Good afternoon. Um, I'm back again, <laughs> doing my um, occasional Facebook lives. I think not spontaneous, but occasional Facebook lives. This is a new series of talks I started a few weeks ago called Self Mastery, and I've got something I want to tell you about at the end of the broadcast. But I want to talk about something else first. So this is number nine in this ongoing series of talks, and what I'm talking about today is um, well, bottom line is simple: live your life as if your life depended on it. And I mean that from the point of view of, well, hmm, how shall I say this? <laughs> well, the title does say it all, but really what I'm talking about here is the temptation to feel that you're not in control. The temptation to feel that it's up to some other people. The temptation to feel that, frankly, you don't have any power. That's the belief that Maybe not you, but somebody you know is carrying. And I, and I have, by the way, I have an invitation at the end of this, so stay tuned for that. I want to tell you about something in a minute. But here's the thing. With what's happening in the world right now, especially what's happening in the world right now, with everything being um, locked down, locked up, shit, whatever they call that, as my friend of mine put it, which one's up or down? Um, contained and... I would say compartmentalized is the wrong word. But isolate this, just use the words they're using. And by the way, one thing I want to drop on you, because somebody else uses this, and I said, I've been using this for about two weeks now, which is, it's not um, social distancing. It's physical distancing, because you want to be outside of the range of somebody's cough, sneeze, or spit. That's what it's for. So it's not social distancing. You can still talk to people. So don't, I hate that term, social distancing. It's not real. It's being physically distant in a physical, social experience. That's what it is, just to be clear. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. It's easy in this current scenario of life we're living through to feel like you're powerless. In fact, it's, it's easy at this point in time to feel like you have to sit and wait and twirl your thumbs and do nothing. Maybe you're in the lucky position where the job you were, that you were doing that you've now been sent home from, you can either steal it from home or you're being paid in absent, absent, in absent, absentia. Absentia? Yeah, absentia, that word. <laughs> but for many of us, I mean, for myself, I'm an entrepreneur and I've been working from home for the last nine years. So this is no different except... I can't go out when I feel like it, <laughs> with some constraints, you know. But for some people, there's this feeling like they can't control their lives because they don't have that freedom where they can do, do whatever they want. Now, if you're in a position where you've got revenue coming but you can't go somewhere, they might feel kind of luxurious. You can just put your feet up and watch Netflix, you'll be fine. But frankly, there's a, there's a need right now. There's a paradigm shift happening. And I've been watching some interesting videos and broadcasts and posts from various people I know. They're speaking to something not yet visible. That which isn't visible yet is a, is a sea change, a paradigm shift, an up-leveling of who we are as human beings and as a culture and a society. There's a lot of people who are still fixated on the old paradigm, which is what's going on right now in the public sector, where this is about you know keeping people happy financially, paying off the companies to try and get back to the old status quo. It isn't gonna work. We're on the cusp of something massive, something different, something transformational, if we simply open our eyes to it what's coming forward and it's going to be so challenging I know in some ways because there's a lot of stuff being thrown in the way of that to sort of like muddy the vision so you can't see it there's a set there's a scent there's a um, attachment to the old way of being which was a power control limitation feeling if you were an em if you've been an employee for a company for 20 years you may start to notice that you do you don't have much control much say much freedom you're actually in position of being at the um, whim of the other people. And I've been talking for quite a while in my other series of talks, my other thousand talks, and I'll tell you about that later on as well, about the codependency trap. Now, codependency is something to talk about in the area of relationship, romantic relationship, but codependency is actually a behavioral issue people have in their work lives just as badly as they do in their relationships. Codependency, to speak to that nut in particular, is a position we put ourselves in where we think that somebody else is going to be our savior, whether it's our employer, the government, the police, our partner. Any one of those will not save you. None of them will, in fact. The only one who can save you is the one looking in the mirror. That's you, in hint. And the thing is, we fall into this trap of thinking that somebody else is going to make our life perfect. When, like, it's kind of like the old idea about, you know, when my ship comes in, is the old, the old quote from many, many years ago. That was kind of the paradigm where, you know, it'll be great when this thing happens. 
that is kicking the is, is kicking the can down the road so to speak but it's also about putting off our own success whatever it is you do in your life business wise in quotes you have participation in that obviously well, I, hope, I think you are and you also have dominion that you may not be taking as in ownership as in control as in self support I've been talking in this series of talks about calling it self mastery but what we're talking about is that alignment to self that puts ourselves back in charge of our lives so we're not in the place where we're in um, displaced by being codependent on somebody else to make us feel good we're actually in charge of our own lives too hi Sally nice to see you this this piece of the puzzle is something we miss a lot because especially right now in the situation we're in there's a government out there that's supposed to run everything and, and <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to walk down that road that's a dangerous path to walk down but there's things that can be improved I'll be that I'll be polite as that but the thing about it is is if we get caught up in being dependent upon that we are being codependent because we're in a codependent situation codependency basically to put it to I did a te I talk it to three days ago four days ago about GNR which was actually guilt and resentment I talked about how resentment is like taking poison expecting the other person to die that's a codependent reaction and codependency isn't about that exactly but it's the idea about how we will feel better based on somebody else's input somebody else's experience somebody else's participation somebody else's um, offering but here's the thing in a relationship of any sort romantic business social familial any paradigm everybody else everybody else only has dominion over your choice when you give it to them only has dominion over your choice when you give it to them the thing is though we've been trained by our society or by our families or by our partners to deal to be in a position where we let them have control of our feelings and that sucks when you don't have control of your own feelings let me tell you I've been through that it's not fun that's why I've been so passionate in the last few weeks of these talks about how to take ownership and really be in charge of your own life self mastery is not some fancy highfalutin term it's really the nuts and bolts of how to have emotional maturity and mental clarity about who you are and whose you are how you stand in your own truth your own life and the temptation because it's so easy to be tempted to be lazy when letting somebody else to run the shop run the show to call the shots to do everything they're doing whether it's romantic relationship business relationship any relationship and it's a trap because you as an individual same as I as an individual have freedom of choice until we give it up so what I'm saying live your life as if your life depended upon it I mean take dominion over your life take charge of your life take control back to live the life the way you want to I've been talking about this for a while I've been talking about how I'm shifting my coaching and everything else but what I'm really talking about now more nails is how do you learn how to take charge of yourself so what I decided to do because I actually had two conversations this weekend to help me clarify that what I decided to do was actually create something I'm calling it um, self the self mastery revolution it sounds fancy doesn't it <laughs> but what it is is a revolution of how you look at your own life it's a revolution of how you actually take care of yourself it's a revolution of how you support yourself and it's a revolution of how you live your life going forward what I decided to do is make this easy this is a no-brainer what I've created is an online membership group yes it's a small fee to get in um, and you can message me more information I don't I'm still putting up the web page for it but basically you send in the numbers it's, it's like you can join me it's 25 bucks a month you can join the membership group and I'll be posting a lot of stuff in that group and doing a lot of, a lot of um, um, specific things there that you won't see anywhere else if you want to join for the year it's it's not I think it's gonna be 250 249 something like that so you save say 50 bucks but you can join me and it's gonna be a month-to-month -month ongoing support system it'll be through Facebook but it's gonna be a private group if you join you can be a member and you can participate that way message me if you want more information you can send me a message and I'll give you the the uh, PayPal link but it's starting up um, basically next week or so I'm still getting the final piece together but my point is I want to be able to create a space of support an easy reasonable accessible place to get support to really get clarity, clarity where you want to go to start learning how to take charge dominion your own life to really understand what self mastery really is and to start implementing that in every single area of your life if you're interested in that message me I'll tell you more about it but my point regardless of that is that is a good time now to live your life as if your life depended upon it this scenario we're in right now will end for most of the people in this country probably sometime late May early June I'm guessing I, I don't know I'm not a doctor I can't tell you exactly how it's gonna be but until everybody gets on board with this physical distancing stuff and the isolation 
it's going to get prolonged and prolonged and prolonged. I believe we'll get through. This. Well, I know we'll get through this. I believe we will. But don't buy into the stories that people tell you have to do certain things to buy to get that stuff. If someone's going to offer you vaccinations, other things too. Be aware of what you're choosing. I'm not saying it's not knowing anything. I'm just saying be aware of what you're choosing. The first step, the first step to self mastery, is knowing you have a choice, and then being aware of what choices you make. That's kind of a twofer. Be aware of what choices you make, and then being really have a choice because you can change your mind. You can choose something different. So again, if you join my new offering, my online, my ongoing monthly membership called my membership group called Self Self Mastery Revolution, say it's twenty five bucks a month. You can join me, or two fifty for the year. Um, 249 excuse me to be accurate you'll get a lot of support on this journey so if you've been looking for some sort of guidance support for this this is your invitation I hope you made some, this makes sense to you as well that you're looking at how you can take charge and really own your life in a way that's powerful because it's time this is the best time actually you've got time if you're not working right now and you're not sure what to do this can be an easy way to get support that'll help you get clarity and direction of where you want to go and I may throw in some help about clarity of, of focus and purpose too because that's a lot of people's questions right now as well so that's my uh, rant for the evening, <laughs> for the weekend. I hope it's made some sense to you and you've got some questions. If you have any questions, please message me or put them below in the comments. Um, send me a message if you want to get into the must, that, that new membership group. It's a low it's a low bar entry fee, intended to leave, so make it easy for you to get in. And uh, we'll get started soon. I thank you for watching, as always. I appreciate you want to find out more about my work. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I said earlier, this is my new series of talks. This is number nine in a series of talks. I have a YouTube channel, just to let you know ahead of time. Um, I did a previous series of talks that were a thousand, yes, a thousand talks over three years called Messages from the Masculine. That playlist and this playlist, because this is also a playlist I'm launching now as well on YouTube, is all under my name on YouTube. So if you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can subscribe to my channel and you can find both playlists there, Messages from the Masculine and Self Mastery. So I invite you to check those out. Um, hi, Daniel. Nice to see my broadcast. Um, this is something new that's coming out so what's coming through me because my spirit's, spirits try in English spirit's been guiding me over this the last couple of months so I'm shifting more into this direction still teaching about love and relationships but secondarily to learning how to love yourself first that's my passion so this is what I'm doing now more and more again if you want to join my new monthly membership course it's only 25 bucks a month or 250 for the year it's a low entry fee it's an easy get it easy get and it'll help you get where you want to go and I'm guaranteeing that you'll get the support and, and camaraderie and clarity in that group too so thank you for watching. Thanks for the love, Daniel. And I'll see you again some other time soon. Um, Daniel, watch from the beginning, please. I invite you to. I'm signing off now. Um, that's about it. I thank you for watching. I'll see you again at some point soon. And uh, it's a Sunday afternoon. I do invite you as always. Enjoy the weekend. Although if you're not working, maybe like it's a seven-day weekend. I don't know. But I do appreciate you being here. And as always, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>